ball. The flag stays down. Heaney! Oh! They scored again! It's Davis again! It's job done now! Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Northern Ireland podcast from myself, Adam Johnson. Tonight we reflect on what was ultimately a disappointing defeat to Germany after such a brave and battling performance here at the National Football Stadium at Windsor Park in our latest UEFA Euro qualifier. We spoke to Stephen Davis and Johnny Evans after the game and we're going to hear from them right now. So Stephen, obviously a tough result tonight but definitely a brave performance from you and the boys. Yeah, it certainly was. I think we set our stall out early on in the game. Uh, we wanted to try and have a real go. It's something we felt we maybe didn't do in uh, previous games against them. Listen, it's difficult because they're so good in possession and they always make you think about your positioning. So I thought first half we gave it a real good go. We got a lot of things right. Um, we had a few opportunities. Um, it was probably an opportunity for us tonight to actually go and get a result. Second half, listen, they start to show their quality. It's a hell of a strike, the first goal, and then it's uh, difficult from, from that moment on. But um, we're feeling a little bit disappointed in the dressing room, but can, in terms of like effort and desire and, and everything, we gave it all. In that first 15, 20 minutes, it definitely looked like you know we were on top, we were the better side. And what was that to play in, to take the game to Germany? Yeah, listen, we just wanted to try and get in the front foot, put them under a little bit better pressure on the ball. and. Um, Obviously, the way they play, they're quite expansive and, and they leave gaps. If you can press the ball higher up the pitch and win it back, then there's opportunities for you there to play that first pass forward and um, get into spaces. Obviously, Connors got in uh, at one point in the first half. Neuer's come out very quickly and, and closed the gap for him to get the shot off. But I thought we had a couple of good opportunities and another night we might have been going in at half-time leading and, and then obviously they come out in the second half to get the first goal. We maybe get a little bit stretched. They start picking up... Um, the spaces and, and balls in, in the pockets and causing a few problems and but we kept trying to go right to the very end obviously we're pushing to get the second goal but um, yeah a little bit disappointed as I say like the boys gave it everything tonight and you said about their opening goal being a great strike was that the difference just that killer instinct in those moments yeah listen we know they've got the quality to hurt you they got into a few positions we defend it quite well in the first half um, overall um, obviously they get that chance in the second half it's, it's a great finish Like I'm not too sure if we've done too much wrong Like we've tried to close the gaps obviously gone to the back post and he, he's got a great strike in the ball so of course if with any goal there's things you could have probably done better but sometimes um, the quality shone through and that was the case in that one And you have to have so much confidence after a performance like that will be at the result going ahead to now our next three qualifiers where we have to play Germany and Holland again? Yeah, listen, it's going to be very difficult. Uh, We we really probably needed to get get a result tonight, but listen, we've got nothing to lose in in terms of the group now. We just go and give it everything we've got and and see what that takes. Just try and get a a scalp or two along the road and and see if that's enough. But it's going to be very difficult, uh, the games away from home especially. Um, But just go and give give it a go, give it all again. And for you, obviously, finally got to officially say, you know, Northern Ireland's most capped outfield player. What was that moment for you like tonight? Yeah, I was just concentrating on the game, to be honest. Um, I'll look back on it, obviously, it's a hell of an achievement. I've been around the squad for a long time, uh, been in a lot of trips, obviously. Thoroughly en- enjoyed every, every moment. Um, listen, it would have been nice to get the icing on the cake and get a really big result tonight, but that wasn't to be. Um, but I'm still proud of the boys in terms of their performance. And so finally, I think for myself, you've obviously played for Northern Ireland a lot longer than I've seen watch them, but what was that atmosphere like to play in tonight? For me, it was something very special. Yeah, it was great. Listen, they sort of made the call, wanted to get the fans in early, uh, create that atmosphere for us. They gave us that energy. They pushed us on uh, at the right times in the game, and they were magnificent. I can't say enough about them throughout my whole international career. They're obviously a big part in the success that we have, and once again, they've shown that tonight. So Johnny, I think everyone can say that you guys put in a brave battle in performance tonight. What was your thoughts after that? Um, I think we a bit disappointed. Um, obviously the goal at the end, you know, makes the scoreline seem like you know Germany had a bit more control than they did. But you know, I thought the first half we were excellent. Probably didn't get our rewards. You know, they had their chances too, but. I thought, you know, the way we started the game was great, really took the game to them and, um, you know, like we're unfortunate not to be ahead in the game. And is that something that's now evolved from Michael's new style of taking the game to people, even to the likes of Germany? No, I think we, um, you know, I think in the past it's always been, you know, especially at Windsor Park, playing at home, you know, we have to, you know, play to our, our, our style of, you know, getting the ball forward and, and pressing teams and, you know, in front of our home crowd, it gave us a lot of encouragement and, 
you know, like the atmosphere was, you know, outstanding. It's one of the best atmospheres I've experienced at, at Windsor Park. And, you know, when, they, when you've got them behind you, you know, and you're able to, you know, create that sort of the atmosphere, you know, it, it helps us on the pitch that, um, you know, we're able to go and take the game to, like you say, the teams like Germany. And how is it for you at the back, kind of playing in a different way in terms of getting the ball down, passing it out, creating chances? It was some, the first half for me is probably one of the best first halves we've kind of had in terms of taking it to a team like Germany? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, it was, it was, it was actually quite difficult to get the ball down and pass it. You know, it was quite, you know, we were playing a lot in their half and, um, you know, really sort of trying to pressure them. You know, any, any balls that they cleared, you know, we were able to, tr- you know, we were trying to sort of put it back in there and, you know, make it a bit of a battle. Um, you know, because we know the quality they have when the ball, you know, when, when they get the ball down, they, they can they can hurt you, which is probably what they did a wee, uh, a wee bit better in the second half. And, you know, we found it probably a bit, a bit more difficult, you know, energy-wise to be able to, to get up to the ball as much as what we, we would have liked. And I think an overriding moment for myself, thinking of your performance tonight, was when you chased back one of their uh, attackers and the moment you collected the ground just erupted. Was that kind of the feeling in the ground tonight? Was just every single tackle mattered? Yeah, I think so. I think, you, you could, like I say, you know... you. You know, fans here, they cheer everything for us, you know, a throw in, a corner, a tackle and, you know, a shot, everything. And, um, you know, it, you know, it can really, you know, give us a lift out on the pitch. And, you know, we thrive on that. And, um, like I say, we did everything we could in the first half. But, you know, we probably come out in the second half and, you know, just the fitness levels probably dropped off a little bit. And um, you know, we had a bit of a sort of revival after they got the first goal. But, you know... We found it very difficult then, you know, to get up to the ball as much as, as we would have liked. And how is it when you play like so Germany, they go score a goal like that? That as a defender, there's nothing you can do about it. No, there's always something you can do, you know, as a team. I think um, I'm sure we'll analyse it and, and you'll see where we, we could do better. But you know, like I say, it was a great finish, and you know, they had maybe one or two other chances in the first half, you know, like ourselves. And it's all about you know taking those chances, and you know, they've got quality. Um, I think it was the left back actually scored. You know, he, he, he's had a quality shot right in the top corner, and it was hard for Billy to stop. And now looking ahead, three obviously hard games to come, but still plenty to play for, which is a great position to also be in. Yeah, there's still there's still you know a lot to play for. You know, obviously we're disappointed. You know, being you know, with it being at Windsor that we couldn't um, you know capitalise on that. But you know, we'll go away and um, you know try and get everything we can from the games. We know we, we, you know we're still in with a with a shot and. Uh, have to probably go and play, you know, three of the best game of our of our lives, and I'm sure the fans will be travelling in their numbers as well, and hopefully they can you know, get behind us even more.